Hi everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So this is another lunch break video. I am on um, break from substitute teaching this week. I came home to let my dog out and to spend a little bit of time with all of you. I'm only teaching uh, this week for now, so it'll be back to normal next week. But I only have two journals I'm going to be sharing with you today, another short video. I am sorry if the videos are short and that frustrates some people. I had a comment on my video yesterday about how it wasn't fair to the artist and they wanted to see more. I understand that and I wish I could spend just as much time as everybody wanted on every page, but I'm just happy to fit it into my day. <laughs> I am crazy busy right now and I want to keep all of you a priority. So if it doesn't work out to your um, liking, I do apologize. I'm doing the best that I can. Anyway, I have two journals from Connie Harvey today. Um, I know there's a mushroom journal and I think a flower journal, but they're really pretty. We'll just take a couple minutes together to look at them, get a little bit of inspiration, and hopefully I'll get a chance to work on a journal tonight. Um, my husband has some plans tonight in the evening, and usually we spend our evenings together, but he has some plans um, with some friends, so hopefully I'll get to work on a journal tonight. So that will be a lot of fun and we'll see if, if it comes to that or not. But I have been making, um, teaching the sixth graders that I've been substituting for, teaching them how to make a single signature journal notebook with a wallpaper cover. And we already have our signatures done in, in the covers and they're really enjoying it. And I hope to share pictures of the finished journals by the end of the week over on my Facebook group. So um, I hope you'll find all the links you need in the description box below if you want to purchase these journals. And I'm going to flip you around and we're going to see my desk here. All right. Here we are in the first journal, like I said, a mushroom journal. And I'm already in love with the color scheme because of this pale green. Isn't that pretty? I'm really partial to ribbons as closures. I don't even use them all the time, but I just love the look. So we have a gorgeous mushroom, vintage mushroom print um, here on the front. I think it's a recycled book cover. We have two signatures here. It's called Mushrooms and Fairies. She's used some of my papers as well as Graphic 45. It's a woodland themed journal. Uh, one of my favorite themes of all time. So we're going to enjoy that. I. Oh, it looks like um, this is Forest Gems. It is one of uh, my kits and it's mushroom themed. So she's used a bunch of that in here. Love, one of my favorite kits I think that I've made. We've got cute little mushroom ephemera everywhere. This is a wonderful kit to add to your digital collection if you love woodland. It mix and matches really well. If you don't want a complete mushroom journal, it just acts really well as um, extra pages in ephemera to put here and there in woodland journals. Lots of fairies as well. This is from my Poetry of Trees kit. Look at how pretty those fairies are. She said some Graphic 45. I think that's what this is. Some of these are secret pocket pages that have big journal cards in them. Oh, look at how pretty that is. It's like a little fairy paper doll in a little fabric pocket. Of course, our music paper and mushrooms. Cute little postcard. I love how she calls it mushrooms and fairies because it definitely is mushroom themed, but there's so many fairies. So this is for my fairy frolics kit. If you love kind of the mystical, enchanted sweetness of fairies and those things, then that would be a great kit to add as well. This is from Poetry of Trees. This is Psalm 1-3, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Forest gems. I never would have thought putting forest gems, poetry of trees, and fairy frolics together, but I really like what you did. Oh, look at that bunny stamp. How cute. And then we have a little fliplet. I call them fliplets. I don't know what a little waterfall, maybe fliplet, fliplet there in the belly band. There's still a lot of places in this journal for you to make it your own. 
really cute more mushrooms i think these stickers come from the antiquarian sticker book since i have the same sticker book definitely a great resource of stickers for the journal decorator how cute is that and that flips up and you can do some journaling here in the back it would be a great place to put your name address phone number you know in case the journal gets lost maybe it's a travel journal or a journal you carry with you So that one has been added to the shop. I did a Facebook post. I hope that you are following my Facebook group um, because I put a lot of fun things over there, but I kind of did a little thought of the day um, today where I had a chance to write out some of my thoughts about creativity. You might enjoy that, but um, I also put um, a little post about how, as of right now, um, there are 12 journals in the shop under $30, and that is a great price point for gifts and things like that. Just thought I'd mention that. All right, so this is the next journal. She put it in this file folder to protect these sticking out of the edges. They're very pretty sticking out of the edges. However, this does not ship well. So I would definitely discourage my artists from sticking anything out this far, um, unless it's lace, because it is, it's going to get crushed. I'm, I already did a tiny bit. It's all right. I'll try to keep it in here. But just, just so you know, um, you may even want to cut them off down more so that they're not getting all bent up all right got a pink rose and this one is called though it doesn't have a oh, beauty she used my kit abandoned beauty also she used my kit down purple lane so that will be a really pretty combination this is abandoned beauty oh, this is from wilhelmina so i can see some others that she's used this is Armitage Flowers, so she's used quite a bit of mine. This is Down Purple Lane. Got some bird pages in here as well. Cute. These are from Wilhelmina. Little bullfinch stamp. Yeah, so you really probably could just cut this down if it stuck out too far from you, or even flush with the page and it would still be really pretty. This is from Wilhelmina. If you love rose journals, you're going to want to participate in the next journal challenge called Pink Roses. You can find that information in the Facebook group under the featured section. That's where the important information goes. Some little vintage book pages and coffee dyed. This is from Abandoned Beauty. That's cute. Some book pages, Wilhelmina, Down Purple Lane, some vintage catalog pages, brick stenciling. There's a lot you can do with this. Beaded paper clip, bookmark in here. It's pretty. There's another little flower. these yeah, little, I don't know, flip up, fliplet, waterfall, card, whatever you want to call that. Big tag is from Wilhelmina. There's Abandoned Beauty. My paper pack or mini kit daily life goes really well with Abandoned Beauty. Here is a little pouch with some goodies. Little fabric, little card. Right there. And this is um, brightly inked florals. And that's a cute journal card there in the back. So these are the two at, oh, well, and then this elastic is the closure for this. Just be careful on the tab sticking out. I do definitely have a lot more that I'm going to be sharing with you next week. Um, we'll be back to, you know, some bigger videos and, and all of that. But while I'm going every day to the school to sub, 
uh, this week filling in for two different teachers, actually. It's it's busy. I have to go back here in just a few minutes to sub for pre-algebra, and I think that's my last uh, class for the day, but I definitely still have other things going on. So thank you so much for showing up today, looking at these journals with me. Thank you, Connie, for making them and sharing them with us. I hope you have a wonderful day. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not. And I hope you'll check back soon. I do not know if there will be a video tomorrow. I'm kind of just flying by the seat of my pants right now, doing it as I can. So there may or may not be, but I am never far away. And you can definitely be finding me over on my Creative Fabrica fans page and on my Facebook group. I'm posting there pretty much every day, sometimes multiple posts. And also join the May Journal Page Club. You can find that on the homepage of my website, but I've added, um, working on adding pages to that. There'll be 60 at least by the end of the month, and already there's some being added in there, so you're going to want to see the excitement of those being added. All right, thank you so much, and I'll see all of you later.